long. None of, none of them are that long. More than satisfied. Smiling, because I see earthly light shining into autumn skies bright. Wondering what goodness life holds in store. It seems no matter what we have, we're never satisfied. We always want more. Today, I'm all so satisfied. I'm still here. More and more freckles on my face, lines running a race with my smile. Silver in my hair shows signs of wisdom, offering up much respect like sunlight to a natural prism. Extremely delightful to see how beautiful you are in my eyes. Happy to unite with true love of my life all over again. My next poem is from a series of poetry developed from going to a plantation last summer. We are a group of poets now called Voices of Woodlawn. Bricks calling my name. Bricks wondering what exactly you're saying to me. Each brick lines path to doorway of historic woodlawn plantation mansion. Each brick handmade, each brick inlaid by hand, entwining a, across around 120 acres of land, leading to a magical, mysterious wonder, questions unanswered. Do we really want to know stories? Can we imagine all encountered? Dream dreams of our ancestors' sacrifice, dreams of their struggles, dreams of their horrid suffering, suffering that strengthens our endurance, confidently document our legacy. Without a doubt, leave photos, writings, and poetry for our children to see, to share with their children and their children's children. History, history, Engraved like fossils in corner of our minds, bricks are calling my name. Tell me, my brave ancestors, what else are they saying? And my next poem is a poem that I wrote for my number one fan, my beloved mother. She never forgot my name. Smiles when she first sees me. She's sweetly made that way. Always and forever best friends. Perpetually we felt desire to be with each other. Daily, spiritually, lovingly, we prayed together. I prayed and still pray to have her spirit. To be ever so kind to everyone. A warm, humble, elegant, and dignified lady, a humanitarian. She would often say, there's so much good in the worst of us, no perfect person in the world. As mom aged, her mind would come and go. Through it all, an amazing blessing for me makes me oh so happy. She never forgot my name. Thank you so much.